He's Mr. T, man. I know. He paid the fool. I'm a bust a rap and break your mics. <laughs> Don't need no dope. Bust a rap and break your Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, boys and girls. The TCS Network brings to you the Charity Strike. And now, here are the boys that put the big D back into douchebag. Trigger Mike, Midlife Crisis, and Rebound. Oh, yeah. Got that right, bitch. Big D all around for everybody. Mike's remixing the shit up. Welcome in the show, everybody. <laughs> the fuck? Right to Rebound Jones. Uh, sitting here on the Charity Strike with... Uh, Gayest remix ever. Mm. Trigger Mike. I've got the rhythm. Yeah, that's right. And it's Monday Mike Raw. Monday Mike Raw. Do you have Tourette's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pissing my ass. <laughs> Sit next to him. That's, of course, Midlife Crisis. What's up, bitches? Mm. Drink myself a little beer. I've got a good show for you guys today. Let's be honest. Basketball news is going to be a little lack mm. in the excite. Yeah. Still better than baseball. But football is back, oh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Preseason. Pre- I'll take whatever. And most importantly, we have a full house tonight, Danny Tanner style. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Purple, yellow, orange, and purple. Yellow, purple, and yellow, purple, and yellow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Too quick. You know what it is. Purple, and yellow, purple, and yellow, purple, and yellow, purple, and yellow. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Okay. Laker Van Dan, everybody. What's going on, guys? Triumphant return. Yes. To back. the TCS studios. Yep. Finally. That's how I roll. Take a, take a week off. I don't know. That's our what? I was like, that's how I roll. I was like, wait, how do I roll? <laughs> <laughs> well, he just said it until his last nut on the song, so that's how you roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, wow. Until his last nut. Wow. That's, uh, that's how I blow. That's how Mr. <laughs> T rolls. Yeah, he beat a fool. <laughs> Listen to Mr. T. Uh, no dope, dope, no hope. <laughs> Come on, everybody. That's right. All right, let's, uh, God, I hate to put it this way because, you know, who doesn't like basketball? I love basketball, but uh, it's the worst <laughs> worst piece of news today, so oh, uh, let's get it over with. You love basketball, you love basketball, to say yeah. Yeah. I love basketball, you love Mandy basketball. Mandy in the chat room, and you guys can listen live and chat on Mondays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Mixler, M-I-X-L-R dot com slash Jerry Strike. It's asking Laker fan Dan. This might be a question for midlife, uh, but uh, one of you answer. Was there ever a Laker named Dwayne Champion? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Dwayne Champion. Not that I remember. Sounds like a porno name. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a porno I don't know. Name. Yeah. Dropping low. Some guy. Uh, That'd be a really obscure dude, though. Some guy doing a porn in a Laker jersey. <laughs> what that was. The best thing that happened to a Laker jersey in the last few years. <laughs> yeah. Finally, somebody on the Lakers scored. Yeah, it's yeah. funny because I can remember like Sean Rooks, Dwayne Champion, huh? Like I can remember nice. like you know when Corey so. Blunt was a Laker, smoking those blunts. Yeah, uh, remember uh, what was it? Uh, Harvey, that dude was in the dunk contest in like '94. <laughs> <It's> like, all <laughs> these Harvey? guys, Antonio Harvey, like all these dudes. Oh like, yeah, yeah, Trevor Ruff, Trevor Ruffin, all these dudes. But I can't remember Dwayne Champion. I don't know. It's a good one. He I must have been a good player then. I googled yeah. it. I don't see a Dwayne Champion Laker anywhere. Well, you have to spell Dwayne like eight different ways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a Dwayne, not a champion, on the Heat. I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like D-U-A-N-E for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, there was, I couldn't Google too much. I'm trying to put a show together here. But there mm. was a, a Dwayne champion that was associated with basketball, but I couldn't find any Laker references to him. Hmm. There's a guy on LinkedIn named Dwayne. Saw champion. that guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's black. He could be the right guy. There you go. <laughs> Automatically, oh, two man. points up on basketball. Burp. Uh, anyways, good question. We don't know. Yeah, We're perfect just, time to ask. I'm gonna like pretend that too. I know. There's like yeah. nothing going on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, he worked for Finkelstein and Partners, but never the Lakers. Oh, never he's not black. So I'll say no. Yeah, because I'm gonna pretend I know. Yeah, so, so, yeah. sounds smart. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's talk about the news at hand. <laughs> Nike will not match Harden's contract for two hundred million dollars offered by Adidas. Damn. But Dwayne Champion will take it. He'll sure take <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll jump right on that Nike bandwagon. He's a yeah, champion. He, he is. <laughs> Automatically. 
What does that say about uh, Nike not matching the deal, though? That Harden's they're not like, as good ah, as he likes. we don't need you. Yeah, he's not yeah. as good as he likes to say he is. He's like, you're, they're like, you're not the MVP. You're only the player's MVP. Yeah. So fuck off. That's right. true. That's like saying you're a comedian's comedian. Yeah. Oh, so you're not funny? So you don't, <laughs> make, so you don't right. make money? It's yeah. true. I mean, it's not like Nike's like worried about money. I think if they, they figure either he's worth it or he's not, and they're like, eh, fuck you. Yeah, man. okay. Well, yeah. that, it was probably the 13 years they didn't want to match. They're like, eh, eh, you may suck after five, and we don't want to have to deal was with it. Was that what it was for? 13 years, beer, $200 million. Dollars. Crap. No, I'd say wow. about like five or six is his like, ceiling at this point. Mm-hmm. Now. Yeah. 13. You trip over that be beard, break an ankle. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. 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 He's not Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> I'd sign Dwayne Champion, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I think Dwayne Champion is the one that killed Chick Hearn. <laughs> oh, too soon. Yeah, sorry, chick. That joke's the refrigerator. That hurt. <laughs> 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 so, are w- if uh, he's like the player's player and the the comedian's comedian and all that stuff, <laughs> are we the podcast's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Shit. <laughs> I hear from everyone that we're funny, and then I never see them listen. So. Right. <laughs> never, never see those numbers reflect on the download. <laughs> like they Man. listen. Yeah. No, no, you're funny though. You guys are really funny. <laughs> you guys yeah. are great. You're Asking me to right. listen to you. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you guys are good. Yeah, I heard great things. <laughs> All right, we must be the podcasts. Mm-hmm. Podcast. It's hard to say. Uh, the Mavericks signed uh, the center, center, <laughs> <laughs> Javale McGee. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say uh, Roy Hibbert's the center, center. Slow, slow, Roy. slow, Roy. slowest Roy. center in the league. What is it? Uh, what else? Not just slow, Roy. What else did they say about him? On the soundboard. Slow Roy? I no, just slow Roy. I don't, I don't remember. D'Angelo's going to run him ragged. <laughs> 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 Mr. No Charisma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jim Buzz. So true. <laughs> Bad at meetings. <laughs> Trevor in the chat room's going to love this. Uh, what else? LeBron announces his uh, I Promise program. It's I Promise to not be a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah, <laughs> failed. He promises to what? Yeah, uh, put kids through school. It's a program. Thousands. Oh. Program college. for Akron kids that are uh, not just any kids. You got to be poor and ghetto and have oh. one parent and that kind of shit. You a former to, LeBron. Yeah. You have to be a little mini LeBron. Yeah. So you can, and if you do all the things he says you got to do, uh, he'll put you through college. They go to college and learn how to make drugs and stuff. Yeah, like <laughs> say nope to dope because there's no hope with dope. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Sucker. And a little bit of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We didn't elaborate that the Johnny. Mavericks with the three centers they have now kind mm-hmm. of equal what DeAndre Jordan would have brought to the team. So <laughs> Still they're paying quite. for three players yeah. as the oh, f- instead man. of one. Right yeah. Now. Do they need a slower one? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JaVale, JaVale's a very serviceable center. He At is. one point he have was. Have you serviced him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very serviceable. Very serviceable. <laughs> oh, my God. JaVale can be either really good or really bad. It's right. It's just like. Not consistent. He's got streaks of both. Yeah. 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 But his really good is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And his really bad is really <laughs> bad. It's like Roy Hibbert. <laughs> Slowest <laughs> center in the league. Burp. Loo. <laughs> <laughs> you burped, burp. Yeah. <laughs> you never heard him do that before? <laughs> I've time. never heard it so clear. Oh. <laughs> the fuzz is not blocking him. Yeah, yeah. It's crystal. <laughs> crystal clear. Uh, Markeef Morris. <laughs> Some jabroni on the Suns oh, yeah. has, d- has demanded a trade. Yeah, really. oh. I would too if I was on the Suns. Moving on. Speaking <laughs> of the 76, no. uh, has demanded a trade after the Suns traded his twin, Marcus. Yep. He said it was a sign of disrespect. Yeah. That's right. Enough is enough and it's time for a trade. That's right. <laughs> Keep the family together. Come yeah. on. Yeah. He said that they took less money to stay with Phoenix if they stayed together. You'd have to pay me so much money to go to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not worth it. They're brothers. His brother's saying, hey, shut up. And they're their colors. I know. What are they, like Siamese twins that can't be parted or what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on Except here? Except for the rookie season. That, was, up, fi- that was fine. Yeah. But no longer. And yeah. now they're not going to be in the same team if uh, yeah. Markeef gets his way. Markeef should take it as a sign of pride that they traded <laughs> Marcus instead <laughs> yeah. of him. He's like, I'm obviously the better twin. Yeah. Well, he said he felt disrespected. I and know. I would, too, if they got rid of my brother. I'd be like, why didn't you trade me? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's not fair. You're no, never going to win a title. Uh, Where'd they trade him to again? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Anywhere but Phoenix. Sem- somewhere better. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade. Oh, man. Uh, what else? Bad news for the 76ers. Joel Embed, the guy we've been talking about with the foot injury. Well, apparently his foot injury is not covered by their insurance policy wow. <laughs> because it was pre-existing when they picked him up in the draft mm, last nice. year. Uh. So they will have to <laughs> forfeit, uh, not forfeit, but they'll have to fork up the entire amount of his contract. Damn. They would have gotten $5.6 million back, 60%. 
And now they get nothing. I love it because wow. 76ers are all about saving money. And yeah. they finally mm-hmm. shot themselves in the foot, pun intended. Luckily, they have uh, $7 tickets. They'll be making that money back <laughs> <Yeah>. next time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, that? 15 minutes and they could have gotten him Geico or something. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah. They just saw how good Okafor is doing. And they're like, uh, I don't think we need you after all. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I heard they called Bynum's. He'd come back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he did a lot for him, too. <laughs> Uh, T Wolves coach Flip Saunders announces he has a Hodgkin lymphoma. Bad news for the T Wolves. Oh man, yeah, lots of lymphoma going on. We'll get to another one. What's up with that? Yeah, it's getting around. Yeah, I don't know. It must be something in the water. So Maybe they're eating all those GMOs and something. all that other stupid oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's contagious. Yeah. Through anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> Mike's fucked. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna move away from him. Yeah. Uh, just in case. <laughs> Watch out! It's poisonous. <laughs> I only, uh, I only give it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not from my experience. You are a giver. Uh, and finally, Globetrotters are dropping the Washington Generals as their uh, big opponent. Were they picking Wh- up the Lakers? <laughs> 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 Had to guarantee that win. The Generals were getting <laughs> too good. Oh God, man. I just understand where this is going to lead. Like, everybody, it's Globetrotters and Generals. Now it's Globetrotters and who? Right. Like, you have to now remarket yourself. The shit kickers. It's dumb. <laughs> you went from not having to market yourself at all because you knew what you were getting with the Globetrotters and Generals. Now you have to figure out something new. It's, yeah. it's stupid. Well, the thing I was reading, like, oh, the you know Generals beat them a total of three times throughout history, blah, blah, blah. I always thought that this was playing at the Globetrotters. I thought it was like wrestling, a basketball. Yeah. I didn't know I that they so were too. actually playing. They're using fucking ladders and out there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. how do they lose? <laughs> yeah, if I was on the Generals, I'd be, you know, knocking them off their ladder. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. Yeah. They got one of those white guys that didn't want to lose. He's like, I'm going to go out there and play, guys. <laughs> yeah. The gym rat. Yeah. <laughs> Weekend chat, warrior. The chat room wants the Trotters versus Hulk's uh, N-words. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see what he said, join the chat. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Mixler.com slash charity shrek. That's not a teaser, racist. Right. And, oh, yeah. That's definitely a teaser. <laughs> I'm not a racist. No, but the chat room is. <laughs> um, uh, here we go. What's up, nigga? Oh, oh damn man. It, Hulk. Hulk. Come on, buddy. He's just calling his team together. <laughs> yeah, apparently. He's going to go uh, play the trotters. <laughs> Sterling's hey, team. Yeah. Hey, everybody. What's up, nigga? <laughs> God. Hulk, too much. I'm coming for you. you oh. No, Man. no. God, Hulk, I so thought we'd clean this up. <laughs> that one's so dirty. Thought we had cleaned this up. That one had the R and everything yeah. in it. No. Yeah. Nigga. Mm. Nigga. Man. Nigga. <laughs> Hulk with the remix. All right, we got to move on. We have uh, lots of baseball to talk today. Ha ha, Manny in the chat room. <laughs> there's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pennant to this park. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. He's good. And I'm a Bud man. He's a Bud man. Holy cow. we win the series before we threw. Cub fans are... Oh, man. This one is for Harry Carey himself. That's right. Him <laughs> liking all those butts. That's right. He's a butt man. He's like, uh, that wasn't a butt lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pussy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we get uh, into the big report, we have some news. But Trevor in the chat room was going to be on the show tonight, but uh, he's a little nasally today. His oh. remnants oh. of a cold or too much cocaine. <laughs> Hell of a drug. Cocaine. Uh, so he actually wrote a report for me to read out. It's uh, highly intelligent because unlike the rest of us, he pays attention to baseball. Oh, All right. right. But before we get to that. Uh, I try to, but I fall asleep. Right. <laughs> There's too many more exciting things going on. <laughs> my fingers in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Red Sox manager, spe- hey, speaking of uh, spread by butt, John Farrell has Hodgkin lymphoma. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is, uh, spread by butt. <laughs> well, we're talking about uh, Flip Saunders. <laughs> it's worse if it's a basketball coach. Cause he's worse? Just, yeah, because he's just a baseball manager. So. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Doesn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> he gets on that little phone and then uh, yeah, calls put, the bullpen. Hits one of his yeah. hands, and <laughs> somebody that pitches with that hand comes out. And oh, man. Calls the bullpen. Where's my damn pizza? I ordered it a half hour ago. Yeah. The only, only difference is Flip Saunders, real man, says yeah. he's going to uh, continue coaching. See? Oh, shit. John Farrell says uh, taking the season off. Yeah. Yeah, because it's too hard to pencil in with the starting oh, yeah. lineup right. and which pitcher's going next. Yeah, got to decide uh, three of your four outfielders. You can't wave <laughs> in the closer. Right. Like the chemo. Oh, my lymphoma, guys. Right. The chemo will really damage that waving mm-hmm. hand, you know. Mm-hmm. Hard to pick up that phone, the bat phone. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, the Yankees pitcher, rookie Brian Mitchell, hit by a line drive today, Monday, uh, right in the fucking face. Oh, Smacking shit. Face. It, was, it was rough. We'll be tweeting that out to you guys at the Charity Strick. No E at the end, uh, the video of that. It was pretty pretty gnarly. He got hit in the face, couldn't get that glove up in time, and uh, went down. They came over with the towel. He came up with a towel over his face. But you could see a couple of drips just like immediately oh, come okay. off. Yeah, it oh, was, no. It Before we came in, they said it was just a slight nasal uh, fracture. So he's already out of the hospital. That's oh. pretty good. Yeah. Still Especially a lot of blood. I, I think it looked like it nailed him pretty good. Still yeah. feeling pretty nasally, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it Trevor? I say, that's what happened to Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of getting hit, Astros manager A.J. Hinch has now banned celebratory tackling. Angels needed to do this a few years ago. Yeah. It wasn't even a tackle. It was just a jump. What a pussy. Um, anyways. Nobody cared? No, 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 I was, no, I was just thinking that I didn't know the, the manager of the Astros' names, and that's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't care if you don't care. It's yeah. fine. It's just, just the Astros. Like, AJ Hinch, I didn't even know that was their manager. Yeah. Do so. you guys realize, though, that there's a possibility that the World Series could be the Astros and the Mets? Yes. Oh it's crazy. God. They're both the top of their division. Must be the GMOs. Or even the Cubs. <laughs> the Cubs could yeah. slip yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. What happened That's to weird. the Cubs and the Miami Swinging Gators? You're right. <laughs> back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> what about the uh, Skeeter? What was that? The Skeeters? Oh, the Skeeters. Yeah. That's the Sugar Astros Land. minor league. Sugarland oh, Skeeters. Sugarland Skeeters. Hey, what year was it? I should know this. That the Cubs won the World Series in Back to the Future. Well, in 2015. Yeah, right? it was this year. Yeah, I think it was this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why you brought up yeah. the team that they were playing. Yeah, they were playing the Miami Swinging Gators. Oh, <laughs> maybe the Astros. I should have caught that. Right? The Astros <laughs> couldn't get the name because Back to the Future wouldn't give it up. Yeah. Like, no, <laughs> no, that's right. No, yeah, yeah. It didn't have a. Just now a I logo. want the Cubs. Now I'm rooting for the Cubs. To yeah. Win. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we know the Dodgers aren't going to do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> once they get to the playoffs, let's it's over. Be, yeah. Once Kershaw gets in the game, it's either Cardinals or Giants are going to kill him in the playoffs. Yeah. Just As always, it. yeah. How long are they just going to ignore the bullpen? I mean, they're just—I mean, everyone knows it's like a glaring problem. They're just like they yeah. bring in pitchers that are supposed to be good and they suck. Oh it's Honeycut. Honeycut sucks. Hey, they it's brought in that guy out of there. last week and he only gave up nine runs. Yeah, <laughs> good trading. <laughs> yeah, that's a big <laughs> improvement to Very what they trading. used to have. Remember when Greg <laughs> Maddox was going to be our pitching coach? What happened to that? Yeah, what that happened to that? that? Didn't quite work. Mm-hmm. I think Greg Jones should be your pitcher. There you <laughs> go. Hey, you pussy. Which one? There's plenty of those out there. This guy uh, right here. Oh. <laughs> not, not angel pitcher Greg Jones. Uh-oh. Former angel pitcher. Uh, Royals fans are apparently getting a little too <laughs> horny. <laughs> what? Having babies. It's true. A lot of babies have been born in the Kansas City area, and uh, it's been attributed by the fact that they were in the World Series last year. What are the babies' yeah. names? Royals? Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't, can't think of anything. I don't know any of their it's players' a, names. I, can't, I don't know. I can't a couple of the kids were named after name. players, but I don't know what their name. I can't remember the name. Jones, Johnson. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Smith, yeah. Smith. <laughs> wow. Pick a name. So all these kids were conceived because of the World Series? That's what they say. So what if they won? Dear Lord. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's kind of like, uh, what do we have out here? Traffic Jam 2012 or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was. Uh, a ch- uh, oh. Some traffic Apocalypse. apocalypse uh, something. Yeah. yeah. I don't oh know. My God, yeah. I some name. Remember. Traffic Zilla. I don't really fucking remember. Four Carmageddon. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what Thanks, was Daniel? It? Yes. Uh, <laughs> is Mustakas a player, or is that? It's from the chat room. <laughs> I don't know. Mustakas. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's spreading lymphoma over here. Uh, no, that's uh, <laughs> to the chat room. All right. That's Maybe what they said too. after they were done fucking in the. <laughs> found out she conceived. Oh, that was a Mustakas kid. Mustakas. <laughs> Jewish? That, that was a safe <laughs> word. <laughs> Mustakas. <laughs> oh. oh, no. I made a Mustakas. I didn't pull out. Yeah. <laughs> I made a Mustakas. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All right. So here is Trevor's baseball report for August 17th. Much more intelligent than anything we've said so far. <laughs> uh, he like, we don't raise the bar very high. No, uh, we lower it. <laughs> Mike Mustakas, he says. Apparently, that's a person on the Royals. All right. <laughs> Sweet. We got one. Yeah. We got one, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of little mustakasses running around in Kansas City now. <laughs> oh, God. You little stuckus. Yeah. I got stuckus in here. Anyways, uh, so Trevor was, was really reiterating the fact that he really enjoys watching the Dodger games at 7.15 at night. It was, it was a little Judge Wapner, <laughs> if you ask me. But uh, <laughs> he likes to have his beer and watch the Dodgers. And if there's no Dodgers, he'll watch just about anything else. I could use uh, a nap at 7.15, too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> then you wake up and get some, some <laughs> game game's stuff almost on. over. I'm like, all right, best part yep. of the game. <laughs> uh, but what we really wanted to talk about was the pitching of Cueto 
and his distinct deliveries with a devastatingly small, excuse me, similar release points. You guys know who Cueto is on the Blue Jays. Yes. He's he's uh, dominating as of late, and I had not really taken notice. Trevor has shown me all the difference. He has four main pitches. He has what he calls the traditional, the tient or tient, the rocking chair, and the quick uh. pitch. Traditional, just your regular wind up pitch, no big deal. Mm-hmm. The tient, uh, it's kind of he kind of goes back to a little little uh, rocking type. Menu. That's more of the rocking chair. Is that uh, named after Louis Tient, the former Louis pitcher? Louis Tient, yeah. Oh, shit. Former pitcher. We didn't know. We were like, why do they call it that? So <laughs> wow. I Googled that. It's Louis Tient, pal. Yeah. I am pal. <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> Yogi Berra and Louis yeah. Tient were great pals. <laughs> the rocking chair where he really brings it back, stops, rocks a little, throws in, and then the quick pitch where he doesn't have really much of a wind up at all. And he was showing me these four different pitches. It's actually really cool because these batters are not catching at all. And the pitches, it doesn't it doesn't correlate to a certain pitch. The traditional or the quick pitch, whatever, so fastball, curveball, four, doesn't matter. Pitch four different ways. And it the windup has nothing to do with what wow. type of ball he's throwing. That is impressive. Wow. It's actually really cool, and it's fucking with all these batters. It bet. He's, yeah, he's, and he's a good pitcher. I mean, that's why. Yeah. And a uh, young pitcher on the team, Kelvin Herrera, has started using this technique. And I guess the other night in the game, you could see Herrera was pitching. And every time he'd throw one, he'd look over the dugout after uh, uh, oh, the pitch. Oh, was it Quito? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daddy. Uh, he kind of gave him the nod. Or you mistook us me later? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right in the butt. Oh, my <laughs> God. Over, please. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, just an interesting <laughs> thing to look out. I'm going to post a link that Trevor gave that has the, the gifts of the four different uh, pitches and cool. it's just interesting yeah. to look at. Yeah, because okay. baseball, admittedly, is boring as fuck. But if there's one fun thing to watch, it's a good pitcher. Like I'll watch when Kershaw's pitching. Yes, not in the playoffs, or or uh, you know if Granky's having a good game or something, I'll turn it on. So that's fun. Uh, you want to talk about the I seventy series to come? Of course, named after the highway that divides the two. Show me state cities by approximately four hours. This is, Adam should be into this one mm-hmm. of the former Adam and Reggie show. Uh, right now, the Cardinals and the Royals. Our fantasy Royals. football champion. Kurt. Yeah. Fantasy football champion. Yeah, he hasn't killed himself either. No. Uh, Uh-oh. Inside joke, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> too, too soon. Our fantasy football champions have a slight uh, tradition of killing themselves. <laughs> or one. Or just one. But All right, we, well, thought it was, yeah. we thought it would be a trend. Yeah, we were hoping tra- it would continue. Adam hasn't done it yet. Yeah. 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 Start somewhere. I mean, we still got two weeks, guys. Yeah, we're a little disappointed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The Cardinals and the Royals are both poised to take back the World Series, yeah. potentially. Each team leads its respective league in the standings. The Cardinals have had the best record in Major League for nearly the entire season. Uh, they're currently at 72-40. and 40. The Royals have ruled the American League and currently have a record of 68-44. and 44. So he's, he's uh, predicting that. Dodger news. <laughs> Kendrick still in the DL. Looking to be back in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, wouldn't, Kendrick. Wouldn't be a Dodger unless you were. No, that's part of coming over. <laughs> Kirsch, Granky, Wood, all get wins this week. Wood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they all got Wood? Yeah. Damn. They got wins. This, this Kirsch, is my... Kershaw's I, been dominant, too. I can imagine week. their shower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are hard. Uh, Kershaw is back. He's getting his greatness out of the way right before the playoffs. Yeah, yeah just yep. in time to start. Oh, wait. Again. This isn't the playoffs yet? Oh, damn. Oh, I better turn it off. Oh, I better win that Sun Young again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no shit. That's what I play for. <laughs> I don't win those damn <laughs> World Series rings. I want those uh, WWE Championship belts. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite headline from Trevor Wood looked really good Oh yeah <laughs> Went uh, No hope for dope <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Had uh, six uh, Six innings Or three Strikeouts Take it from me I'm Mr. T Ho ho Alright No dope no hope That's right Dodgers rotation is looking solid Other than Brett Anderson Who is a bum And the rest of the mm-hmm. The Anderson. bullpen Anderson Yeah <laughs> Mr. Anderson Here's what I like. This uh, tying it back to the TCSP Awards juice box alert. Mm. Mm. Uh oh, big poppy. Uh oh, <laughs> have you guys seen man, these man, stats? That fucking guy, man. I don't He's, take steroids, man. He's been on steroids. I don't man. take steroids. Yeah, I'm fat. Look at me. I don't take steroids. Man. Yeah, he is juicing. Last seven games, twenty. I love that our mech, our resident Latino tried to do a Latino <laughs> accent. Just you, know, you can call me Mexican. That's fine. <laughs> well, I know, but, it, <laughs> but I needed to round it out because Poppy isn't. I'm he's not true. Mexican. Yeah, it's all the same. Uh. All right, so last seven games, 26 at-bats, nine runs, 15 hits, three home runs, 11 RBIs, uh, five walks, three strikeouts, 577 average. Uh Uh-oh. 588 on base percentage. This guy's killing it. Hey, man, I'm just just kicking ass. Who is that? Big Poppy. Big Poppy. Oh. (laughs) You don't know me? Big fat fuck. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, That's definitely a juice box alert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, my favorite segment, the F the Giants part. 
<laughs> that's what it's called, after the Giants. No wonder he's our correspondent. Yeah, that's why I like him. Uh, he wanted to talk about their schedule coming up. It's very brutal, and he says, I hope they lose them all. They've got three games with the Cardinals, four games with the Pirates, three games with the Cubs, three more games with the Cardinals, and three games with the Dodgers. That'll be oh, nice. Oh, they'll beat them. the Dodgers like yeah. they always do. But the rest of them uh, are going to be They should lose hard. the rest. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, fuck the Giants. Yeah, they'll Dodgers. win at least three games. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Dodgers are still in first. So. Yeah. yeah, Dodgers are in first, but they should be way ahead, but they've lost so many games to the Giants that the Giants are right there. It's I ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's only true. the Giants. It's ridiculous. It's true. They're like, what, 3-12 and 12 against the Giants this year? It's something retarded like that. It's a little embarrassing. Yeah, and both teams are just kind of, let's see which team could be the most mediocre team and just sneak right. into the playoffs this year. Yeah. Well, both teams are Welcome all about. Welcome to the NL West. Yeah. Exactly. Both Look. teams are all about their ace. That's why. It's like. Right. Dodgers have two yeah. of them. They've got Bumgarner. Yeah. They rely on that. God. All about that ace, about that ace. No <laughs> <laughs> Bumgarner. No relievers. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and either good. team, if they make the playoffs, will be out in the first round. So, mm-hmm. We'll beat the Diamondbacks, and then we'll lose to anybody else. D-backs. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. D-backs. Uh, anyways, and then finally in baseball news, it's, uh, it's getting it's special. Raining. You can tell this is not part of Trevor's report because it's and not real baseball. Was music. it Michael Sam playing baseball? It's <laughs> <laughs> the only time I ever hear that music. He did leave. Wait, oh, that's later. Oh, that's a Never tease. Mind. That's oh, a man. tease. Never mind. Excuse me, yeah, sorry. That's a tease. And Manny in the chat room, I do love to hate on the Arizona teams. Diamond Bats can suck a dick. The <laughs> Suns are just the Suns. If the Suns had a dick, they could suck the Suns' dick. Yeah, oh, that's right. And sadly, God. the Diamondbacks have won a championship before the Suns ever did. So. Yeah, because they all suck. <laughs> uh, the Brewers minor leaguer David Denson <laughs> becomes the first active player in affiliated professional baseball to reveal he is gay. Yay! <gasps> Uh-oh. That's the longest, dumbest, gayest title ever. They're stretching on this one. Yeah. We don't have any MLB guys, so how can we turn this into almost professional? So chances are this is the only thing he'll ever be known for because he probably sucks and he oh says nobody God, will ever know yeah. my name. So I'll just come out and just right. be the first openly gay baseball player now. So just like Trick and Mike, he'll go down in history being known for sucking cock. Yeah, yeah and spreading lymphoma to Flip Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Michael is Sam is, he sucks as a football player and he sucks as a gay partner, so that's <laughs> why he came out and became an openly gay football player. Well, yep. He knew he would never do anything else. Look, well, sucking is part of his life. He's got to be gay. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did he hold like so, a big old thing to say he's gay or what? No, he, he held the big old thing. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't even know what I fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> a big old black thing. Do you know what <laughs> ruby you're in right now, son? <laughs> well, I was just saying, it's like, you know. We wa- know what you're saying. Yeah, well, <laughs> I said it. I'm not even going to make my point <laughs> I anymore. I would put dicks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it be. Yeah. Let Never it mind. be. At this point, was, was I, words I, of you still have some people out there that are narrow-minded and all this, but at this point, you know, who the fuck cares? Exactly. Live your life. Right. Fuck whoever you want to fuck. Yeah. And just... Does Big Poppy have to come out and say he's straight? Or maybe he's gay. I don't even know. <laughs> hey man, don't, I don't come care. Yeah, I don't, don't care. Man. We actually have audio from... I ain't got no lymphoma. Don't come and give me From the yeah. press conference. Oh, Shit, good. I just want a dick right now. <laughs> there you have it. Wow. He yeah. sounds sexy. He does. He, he does. sounds almost as hot as Jenny. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do him. <laughs> <laughs> he do you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, my oh friend. Oh, my God. Yeah, this whole thing of uh, since I'm a shitty player in whatever sport I'm trying to play, uh, why don't I just come out and get a little notoriety? It's, it's getting old. Then I can blame my lack of talent on the, you know, like when I don't make it to the majors or whatever, I can say, oh, well, it's just because I'm gay and they're you know, <laughs> discriminating against me. And right. I'm mm-hmm. going to go rape them now. So. Hey, fellas. <laughs> yeah. You never hear any good players coming out. Yeah. Aaron nope. Foster's the only brave guy out there coming out as atheist, even though he's a star. Oh, yeah. You know, he's probably got a lot of death threats at this point. I'm sure. It's crazy. Christians Ironically. From crazy Texas. Christians. I mean, yeah. Ironically, yeah. a lot of and death threats from Texas. the Christians. Yeah, yeah. That's the wrong yeah. place to say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You're not in Austin, buddy. Christians will kill you. Yeah, they'll crucify yeah, you. Yeah, they'll kill atheists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Christian Jeez. gangbangers. That's blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mexican doing a redneck accent. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad, huh? That's fucking fantastic, actually. <laughs> Uh yeah, this is getting old. Who cares? You're gay or straight? No one actually cares, yeah, uh, care. except for you and the media, because the media, right. the media right. is all about sucking. Oh the dick. yeah, that's why because the media eats the shit. Uh, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, you're gay. We got to jump on this political bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, they they suck the biggest dick. Yeah, yeah. 
they're they're gayer than any gay player. That's right. Oh <laughs> Jesus, get stupid. All right, I'm gonna move on before I get pissed. Let's talk about real news. I wasn't gonna play the hockey song for one story. <laughs> Plus, I don't care. EA has pulled Patrick Kane. TV Undertaker's brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. We, you didn't know. Did you fuck? didn't know, but Kane's first name is Patrick. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was corporate. <laughs> <laughs> Concessions. <laughs> Concessions, Kane. <laughs> Deep pull. I like that one. Uh, yeah. Did he fuck Katie when she was dead or something? Yeah. yeah. Her brain's out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys were talking about that last week. It's so bad. Oh, like, where's Daniel? I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Katie. Are you, oh, no. I, I did. Are you I serious? Your brain? Are out. you serious? <laughs> uh, hockey's fucking my brain. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Cr- Kane, uh, corporate Kane from the NHL. Uh, they pulled him from the NHL 16 cover over some sort of police investigation that they wouldn't say what it was. Rape. Rape. He potentially raped a bitch. Potential. I heard he raped some minor league baseball player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no. His name is David. Yet. <laughs> she. He's just been accused by some. Oh, no, I've been accused. Mm-hmm. They didn't pull me from anything. No. <laughs> and I didn't pull out. Right. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Joke's on me. <laughs> yeah, oh. evidence. <laughs> she, has, uh, she says she wanted a rough. <laughs> All right. That's the rape marks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Burp. <laughs> she, <laughs> another good one. <laughs> All right. She actually said she wanted to puck. He thought she said she wanted to fuck. Oh. 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 It's an honest misunderstanding. Need that Price is Right sound. Stuckus. <laughs> 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 yeah, stuck it in her mistakes. <laughs> 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 and didn't pull out. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Jordan Spieth. Spieth? I don't know. Golfer. No, oh, who cares? <laughs> uh, Is he openly gay? <laughs> he plays golf, doesn't <laughs> he? Well, there you go. Yeah. Do you need to be? I think that's good I enough. I think they all are. Yeah. yeah. They play with shafts and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Finished all four majors this year. Nice. With 54 under. Wow. Under what? Uh, 54 men. Damn. <laughs> Tiger's <laughs> best, which was in 2000, was only 53 under. I know this is 52, but I think it's a typo. So yeah. 53. What? So uh, he had the best year of golf of all time yeah, in, the, in the majors. Well, that's the year that Tiger won three majors. Now, uh, Jordan Spieth only won two this year. But he's now ranked number one over Roy McIlroy. Yeah, who, who is this guy again? Jordan some, Spieth? Just some guy Spieth? that got good this year. Right. And yeah, he's won three it's out of the four like, majors. Yeah, they're always trying to build up like the next Tiger, and they can never find him because the dude like Yeah, the guy he just out. took over number one for, McIlroy, was the next Tiger. Right. And now he's uh, no longer the next uh, Tiger. Yeah. So Spieth is. Oh, my God. God speak to him. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know, Tre- Trevor, who did write our baseball report for us, uh, was bringing up a good point. Somewhat good point. He was saying that uh, he heard the Momo, Ramona, you know, oh, yeah. hot voice, ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was listening to her on the radio again today. I was just like, oh, God. If you were as hot as your voice was, you'd be so nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, chick <laughs> of the day every fucking week. <laughs> Anyways, Momo was talking about uh, the fact that we kind of have this, whenever we have someone that we really love, but then they kind of, and we get rid of them, we go the exact opposite. So you you take a coach, you know, you have a, a coach that's, that's great, and then kind of fall from grace, and then you find the exact opposite. My example to him was, oh, Niners. so we had, yeah, exactly. We had <laughs> Phil Jackson, who won a lot of games. And then we hired Mac, Mike D'Antoni. Boom, the and exact Mike, opposite. And Mike Brown. The exact opposite. Yeah, Mike Brown. Uh, he was saying with, with uh, Tiger Woods and Jordan Spieth, he had Tiger, who was like flashy, what up, play a... Uh, Black and Japanese. I, didn't, I don't know why I had to get racist. <laughs> oh, with it. Uh-oh. Black and Japanese. And then wow. uh, fall from grace, and now we're after this Jordan Spieth kid white. who's... Uh, White as white can be. <laughs> yeah. He has surpassed Larry Bird on clear. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> uh, anyways, I, I said that's not true. I said uh, in the case of Spieth and Tiger, Spieth, it's all about talent. Yeah, exactly. It's a talent thing. If <laughs> Roy McIlroy was as good as Spieth, we'd be jizzing over him right now. Yeah. But uh, he's had a little bit of a fall. But with the coaches, I think that's absolutely true. Phil Jackson to Mike Brown and Mike D'Antoni, that mm-hmm. sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Harbaugh to... Fucking Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Yeah. I think that's absolutely true. But <coughs> I, I think when it comes to players, you know, we go from Kobe to LeBron and Steph Curry, you know, Steph and, Le- and Kobe are a little different. Right. And that's just whoever's the best. That's a talent. Slightly exactly. different game, but they're still great players going. Yeah, on. as long as you're not Allen Iverson. Yeah. <laughs> so so you with the hot voice, you're wrong. That's right. <laughs> if you had nicer, you know, tits, yeah. you might be right. So I was, I was contemplating what's clearer than clear. It'd have to be the vacuum of outer space, right? 
Please stop. Where there's nothing. <laughs> oh there's no God. gases stopping so, wow. the light from passing through. So Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I Kai am Neil deGrasse Tyson. Kai Grigios, Nick Kragios, apparently a tennis player, uh, outdoes himself with disgusting with a disgusting comment about Stan Wawrinka's girlfriend. Ooh, oh, yes, is. let's hear it. <laughs> yes, Stan Wawrinka is calling on the uh, Association of Tennis Professionals (ATP). I didn't even know that existed <laughs> <laughs> until today uh, to punish Nick. Harrigos ATP ATP The ass the pussy (laughs) (laughs) You down with ATP? Yeah you know me (laughs) Uh, Call on them to punish Nick Carrigos After a hot mic Cut the 20 year old Australian tennis pro's (coughs) Appalling comment About Warwinka's girlfriend 19 year old tennis player Donna Vekic Uh, Stanislas Warwinka says so disappointed to see a fellow athlete colleague to be so disrespectful in a way I could never even imagine. What was said, I wouldn't say to my worst enemy. To stop, to st- he says stop, but it should be stoop. To stop so low <laughs> is not only unacceptable, but also beyond belief. There is no need for this kind of behavior on or off the court, and I hope the governing body of the sport does not stand for this and stands up for the integrity of the sport that we have worked so hard to build. You know, if it's multiple tweets, he's really pissed. Ooh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Wow. Well, I mean, so what did the guy say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say she like tasted like honey nut cheese. We, <laughs> <laughs> we have some audio. Ooh. Oh, sweet. One more time. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I'll turn it up. Something so it says the uh, where is it? Kakanakis <laughs> and Nostakis. Banged your girlfriend. Sorry to tell you that, mate. <laughs> Dang. He's referring to fellow Australian tennis player Tenz- Tenasai Kakanakis, <laughs> who was rumored to have dated Vekic in 2013. Uh, the comments happened in the second set of their match, resulted in a score of 6 to 7, 6 to 3, 4, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what that means. How do you have three scores in one match? <laughs> when asked about the comment after the match, Karagos was unapologetic, even going as far as to defend himself. He said he was getting a bit lippy with me, kind of in the heat of the moment. I don't know. I just said it. Uh, Carigo's mother even weighed in using Twitter to shockingly endorse her son's behavior tweeting on Thursday. A sledge for a sledge. Do your research before piping up like sheep. Hashtag hmm. moaners. She told him. <laughs> yes. So uh, I don't see. I, don't, I like that this is the worst thing you could ever say, and I wouldn't say it to my worst enemy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? And he I was s- just stating fact. I right. say worst things about chicks on the phone. Yeah. 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 But, anyways, more importantly than that, this leads us to our next story and the most important part of the show. Hello, ladies. Today's chick of the day, <laughs> Donna Vekic. All right. Yeah, <laughs> she can fuck whoever she wants. That's right. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Uh, also a tennis player. I think she's only 19, but I get her drunk. Old enough for, the, for chick of the day, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Old enough for me to jerk to. It's true. <laughs> She's blonde, so I think the chat rooms are going to like her. <laughs> they like their blondes. Uh, tennis player 19, Donna, D O N N A, V E K I C, and the C has a little thing over it. Vekic. Vekic. Vujicic. I know, right? <laughs> Donna Vekic. Uh, <laughs> Slovenian? So, I don't Crotch know. shot. Huh? Crotch shot. He's a nut shot. <laughs> I already oh, gave her Camel toe. Shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give her a little loose knuckle action. That's right. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's down with ATP. <laughs> she is hot. Oh, very hot. Oh, man. Yes, check her out. Chick of the day, Donna Vekic. All right, I think this has gone long enough. And uh, I'm out of beer, which is uh, beyond it's tragic. It's a shame. It, it's tragic. It's shame. And uh, I'm starting to have anxiety attacks over here. So. <laughs> Go jerk off to Donny Vekic. Yeah. Give, <laughs> <laughs> give myself a couple more beverages of the adult nature, just like my relationship with adult with uh, Donny Vekic. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, check us out at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike, at the charity strip, no E on the old twat box. Thanks to the baseball report from Trevor. He's much smarter than we are. We will have him on the show very soon. 
Uh, what else? Trevor yeah. and Phil bring class to this show. <laughs> yeah, someone's class to this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost weird, actually. <laughs> uh, you can get us at thecherrystrike.com, facebook.com, slash thecherrystrike, at thecherrystrike, as I said. 805-419-3609, number to call, sext, and or text. We love titties, especially the Donna Vekic's, hmm. and all the other stuff. So we'll be right back, everybody. Be back, bitches. Hi, I'm Rob Hunt, the director of Standard Action. This is Teal Scherer from My Gimby Life. This is Ed Robinson from Pairings the Series. This is Ashley Reed from A Perfect Union. Hi, I'm Nate Golan with My Synthesized Life. The wrong guys for the job. This is Rodney Smith from The Digressions. From the Super Night Up web series. This is Gary Rowland. And you're listening to The Surfing Aliens. Surfing Aliens. Surfing Aliens. Surfing Aliens. And you're listening to The Surfing Aliens. And hopefully aren't catching anything. I'm Tim Keedy. That's Misha Dare. Hi. And we're from the Surfing Aliens podcast. Misha, what do we do on the Surfing Aliens podcast? We interview new to us web series and see what they're about. And we hopefully get you interested in them too. We interview a new web series creator each week and just check us out. We talk about a ton of stuff. Misha asks a different question every week. Misha, what are some questions you've asked in the past? I've asked what is the most awkward conversation you've ever had in your entire life and what have you been caught doing that you weren't supposed to be doing. Also, I usually get down and dirty and I'm like, which celebrity would you have sex with? Yeah, see, this is already getting fun. This could be a show right now, but it's not. It's a commercial. (laughs) So if you want to hear the rest of that awesomeness, check out surfingaliens.com. We're on iTunes, Twitter, Facebook. Just look for Surfing Aliens. Yep, and uh, you won't find another podcast that swears so much as us. Also talks about sex and boobs. So there you yeah, go. and we sign off with take off your shoes and yell, you be Kaye, motherfucker. Yeah, that was patented. Surfing Aliens. You're listening to the Charity Strike. Try and keep those earbuds in their holes. At the sound of the can, it'll be block number two. Yeah. Welcome back in, everybody. Yay. Does anybody actually still remember calling information for the time? Yeah, I do. I do. Well, information, I do. Especially you. Yeah, yeah of course I do. It like, definitely does. <laughs> yeah. I remember was, sundials. It was yesterday. <laughs> I think I did it once. <laughs> Midlife's first once. watch had a little pointy triangle <laughs> thing on it. Yeah. I used to call information to get the number to call time. <laughs> I can't tell what time it is until the sun comes out. Right. He knew father time. Yeah, your power would go out. Who do you call? 411. <laughs> Not Ghostbusters? <laughs> yeah. Not that time. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, Charity Track, Celebrated Brown Jones, Midlife Crisis. Oh, sorry, mid drink. <laughs> We're back, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> or mid blowjob. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Trigger Mike. Monday Mike Rock! Like your fan down. What up? That's right. All right, we'll uh, move on to some more <coughs> sports news. <coughs> And, all right, I'm just going to do it anyway. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, all right, time for football. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson Silva busted for drugs. Drugs. Drogas. Kind of weird drugs. Drogas. Early in January, earlier this year. Um, it came out that No dope, no hope. <laughs> yeah, wasn't right. listening to Mr. T. He had his NSAC <laughs> hearing finally. Um, he's going to get a one-year suspension that due to the failed drug out, test. Uh, stripped of $200,000, which is his win Holy bonus. Shit. And then another 30% of his fight purse, <laughs> $600,000. For a grand total of $380,000, he's being wow. fined. That's a lot uh, of beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, his defense was that he <laughs> took a sexual <laughs> enha- yeah. a sexual enhancement drug and Got didn't didn't know it was going to make him fail his test. Oh, I hate and, when that happens. And apparently, black was, guys don't need that. <laughs> apparently, Uh-oh. it was a, a blue liquid. <laughs> a blue liquid that came from Thailand. Uh oh. That seems safe and healthy for a professional athlete. Little boy semen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thailand. <laughs> Little boy blue semen. Apparently, um, Anthony Marnell, who's the NSAC commissioner, he uh, 
he was so annoyed by the whole defense by Anderson Silva. Nobody's going to make any insect jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I've made so many, I'm going to let you guys do it. All right. Uh, this is how he felt about it. He says, I feel there's some intention here to use the product to come back from a devastating injury. If you don't remember, guys, Anderson Silva <laughs> broke his shin in half. <laughs> and injured and made, his sack. And made a comeback within a, f- a year. So, oh, yeah. Right. You know, anxiety and stuff like that probably took yeah. a hold of him, and he took some drugs that he yeah. wasn't supposed to. Or some sexually enhancement drugs. Uh-oh. Apparently. Oh, we all do. Uh, he sack. said, there's definitely knowledge of what's going on here, and we're just playing games, and that's my frustration at all this soft testimony. Um, oh, soft testimony. Oh, now, man. Now, He's taking a drug <laughs> for, right, for, for, the people for actually, his sexual performance. People, uh, would people it's actually, about sa- soft testimony. On Twitter, when the uh, media, the MMA media, was, was quoting him, they actually pointed at that comment at soft testimony. Soft, soft, uh, oh, soft defense as like a dagger at Anderson Silva oh, by the end commission. Dagger? Are right. you saying it's small? Oh. <laughs> small uh, and soft? Hey man, well, how old is he? Like what? 39? 39? Yeah, 40. Help, I think man. he's 40 at this it's point. He's old as much. 39 yeah. at that point. Gotta oh. Put it down, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> not up, apparently. Oh, oh man. Now, for the um, NSAC hearing... They had people on hold, like media people on hold. Holding a and, sack. And so they were listening to the thing and typing up the report. Yeah, their ear up like to that. a sack. Yeah. <laughs> if they couldn't get the video feed, they were listening on the phone on hold. Yeah. Well, there was one person that was playing a bunch of songs as this thing was going on. Oh, I can't One of them was this. Let's Talk About Sex. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Brown. <laughs> one was It Wasn't Me. <laughs> Shaggy. Me So Horny. Yes. And then Anders- as Anderson Silva was leaving the courtroom... Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Oh, so eh. this was on a conference call. This is. It was like a. It was a NSAC hearing. So it was, it was taped in Vegas. Some people could get the live feed. Others had to call in to take the. Uh, and it was one of the callers out. that was playing. One of the callers kept playing songs. Can Can I shed a little light as someone who deals with conference mm-hmm. calls quite often? Mm-hmm. Um, because I deal with legal things and yeah. I have to call in and be able to listen. There is. Definitely a way to make sure you cannot hear the other callers. Yeah, right. There are options. The mute. Op- well, it's not even a mute thing. There's an option to make it. Uh, I forget what mode they call it, but it's essentially listen only mode, mm. to where you are sending out audio and people <coughs> can only listen. Their talking will not be heard. Otherwise, you'll get shit like that. Yeah, that, that makes sense because mute would only mute you to the person that's exactly. listening. So. So they got some like cheap ass system, <laughs> like a party line <laughs> or something. Yeah. Nevada, or or how to get idiot. your shit together. <laughs> yeah, some idiot set it up. Yes, that's fucking fantastic. That makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. It was great though. Like it got the NSAC commissioner to start laughing in the middle of one of his uh, rants. <laughs> he was like, he was going off on Anderson. He's like, the guy played. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, and he oh. just started busting up. On, I on thought it was stand. two live crew. Cause <laughs> you can't be angry when you're listening to two live right, crew. You can't. It's just too funny. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, and then free free fights this weekend. Free Midlife. what? Free Fox Sports One. Freezies. Freezies. <laughs> Freezies. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday, yeah. and it comes from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh. Woo! Woo! Next up. Wasn't me. Mike saying butt naked such a boner killer. Oh. <laughs> no wonder Anderson <laughs> needs those pills. Yeah. Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be headlined by Max Holloway. It's this Sunday, like I said, on Fox Sports 1. Max Holloway Fox against Sports. Charles Oliveira. Two up and comers trying to get into that title range should be a great fight. They're both exciting fighters. You guys Two should comers. really watch this. I'm telling you, Upper watch comers. this what fight. What kind of fighting are you watching? I'm telling you, people, watch okay. this fight. Well, I will. Fox God. Sports One. The right. Max Holloway <laughs> never disappoints. And neither does Charles Oliveira. Right. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be worth it. On barbecue. Uh, Neil Magny <laughs> will fight Eric Silva, <laughs> who's a great fighter as well, and uh, Josh Sausages. Berkman will fight Patrick Cote, <laughs> and that is my fighting news. All right. Wow. I got some fighting news. Oh, nice. I figured that's why I say my fighting news. John Stewart's going to host SummerSlam. All right. Yeah. Is he really? That's what it says. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's hilarious. If my sheet says it, <laughs> it's was, true. I, I made it. your sheet. That was like genuine excitement for Mike over there. I love there. John Stewart. <laughs> yeah. The last time he was on, he was actually pretty damn good. He was with Seth Rollins. He was suave and everything. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> Rico Suave over yeah, there. Yeah, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's going to host SummerSlam, which is, which is good. I like John Stewart. So <laughs> suave. When is SummerSlam? Is that this week? Uh, it's next weekend. Sometime during the summer. Ah. <laughs> next weekend. I'll be out of town. Yeah, next Sunday. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, it's not this August. coming Sunday? Nope. Shit, I'll probably be out of oh, town, is, too. Isn't it? And remember, NXT's on Saturday. So it's this Saturday and Sunday coming up. 
Uh, this NXT. weekend, yes. Mm-hmm. For NXT. NXT. Don't miss it. For so the low, low price of freezies. Freezies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, August 17th. No, that's no. today. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I heard a toilet flush. The 23rd. Yeah. I think it's the 23rd. Uh, that's this week, it should then. should be Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it's this weekend. So Summer Sam's this week? Yeah, You so. just said it was next week. No, I said it's this weekend. Fucking liar. You said... So I said, isn't Sunday. it this weekend? And he said, no, next week. No. Thank you. I didn't say that. <laughs> trigger, uh, trigger. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll listen oh, back and, have, and I'll hear Here, it. I was backing you up and you call me Trigger. I know, that's, <laughs> God. That's pretty What's funny. up, Trigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing, guys. <laughs> I I'm anybody want to blow get you, Trigger? <laughs> Manny, Manny in the chat is saying it is the 23rd, which is this Sunday. Thank you. Come this on. Sunday. Thank you. Any of you guys around this Sunday? I will be out of town. Anybody that I care about going to be around this Sunday? Feel free to come <laughs> over and watch it. I, I have the network. Oh, okay. I think, stick this you in I think Sunday. Eh? I think I'm around, and I think uh, you are around. Yeah, oh. I am around. I think the old lady's out of town. Oh, snap! Oh, wow. Oh. Yet to be confirmed. And you're not going to be here. I will not be here. <laughs> That's wow. the old lady. I oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about sex. Because we baby. again. Because we haven't talked. About it. <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> sex, baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's football nomenclature for when a quarterback is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, don't forget to vote for my fantasy football team name over on Facebook. Facebook.com slash oh, yeah. the charity strike. Yeah, do that. That's right. Mm. Turn down for what? 1.21 <laughs> JJ Watts. <laughs> and the unfortunate winner right now. <laughs> <laughs> What what in the butt? It's oh. still winning. <laughs> oh my god! By like, by like one vote. So you oh, guys, okay, okay. you guys need to go change that for me. Uh, change it up. Okay. So Daniel, the- get a Facebook just to vote. For this. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you need. Well, maybe you do. I, I don't think know. You do. Honestly. Yeah, just yeah. to vote just for use somebody else. What? It's a Facebook the- poll. Use your girlfriend's Facebook. To go <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. Olivia! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has hey she woman. Been sleeping lately? Hey woman. Huh? Has she been sleeping lately? Oh yeah, man. She's like way tired. That could, Trader Joe's, man. Well, yeah, could all that work get? and sex is like... Oh, <laughs> wow. All that sex. It was Did you get any creepier over there? <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. Is she sleeping? Is she I know. Sleeping? I'm heading over there right now. <laughs> oh, God. What's she wearing? <laughs> 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 Nothing? All right. Oh, snap. Let's look a s- <laughs> she wearing a Phoenix Suns jersey? <laughs> all that was stuck is... Did someone order <laughs> the lymphoma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mandy, the chat says Yahoo wouldn't let her name her team bend over in Coughlin. Oh, what? <laughs> that's bullshit. Really? That's great. You should name your team Dwayne Champion. <laughs> <laughs> I had a team name that ESPN midseason made me change. No way. Yeah, it was uh it was an inside joke between me and some people at work. It was basketball. It was Slappa de Cox. <laughs> but it was all one word. So it was like S L A P P A D A C O C K. Right. So mid season, I go to log into my account. <laughs> Slap of the bice. And yeah, and uh, it said like it, you've been deactivated. Call this number to reactivate your account. What? Yeah, yeah. So you had to call. That doesn't them? make any so sense. I had to call. So I'm thinking like, all right, well, I'll just call and fix this. You know, thinking like some dude's gonna answer. So like, all right, what's your screen name? Slap of the cock. No big deal. <laughs> Chick answers. No big deal. Whoa. And she goes, all right, what's the problem? Like, oh, they de- deactivated my account and told me to call. <laughs> okay, no problem. What's your screen name? Uh, uh, wait, never, first, never you must know I am a farmer. <laughs> 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 I raise chickens. I work. For, I work I for raise KFC. cocks for a living. You yeah. abuse your cocks <laughs> 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 when they're out of line. Uh, <laughs> yeah, every now and then Only you gotta slap they, at the cock. They're Only like they're they like my it. children. Only when they deserve <laughs> it. Uh, I I just went. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about I spell it for you? I'll I'll spell it. <laughs> She goes, oh, sure, go ahead. So, like, S, you know, I just went through it. Oh, okay. You know, she goes, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> so, it was your username that was all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it was my username. Oh, okay. Was, and, but I think it was also <coughs> my team name or something. Okay. But yeah, because yeah, I know a guy, it's like his team name's been like any given cum day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and nobody's done anything yeah. to him. So, it's like off, like yeah. coming from behind. And I don't I don't get it. It's my username. Why do they care yeah. what my username is? Maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, it should, registers. Yeah. She's like, what do you want it to be now? <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> how about just my email? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, enough with the slap of the cock. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't even started with football yet. Yeah. They kicked me off, too. They did? Well, at one time, because they used to always go on their little stories. 
And then down when you make the comments, I'd always make some stupid ass comment that say, <laughs> "Let's talk about this tonight on the Charity Strike oh. <laughs> and, they, and they started blocking me. <laughs> Do you know what that? You that, tried, man. Like, like, you were a spam bot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a compliment. <laughs> I, I bet it was not even ESPN. It was probably people complaining. Like probably, probably, probably yeah, spam. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, spam. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> wow, you fucking spammer. That's I didn't even awesome. know. I didn't know those people were real. <laughs> <laughs> that they're robots. <laughs> so what did I do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're spam. You thought it was robot trolling. Yeah, <laughs> robot porn. They're real people. Oh. They're Uber drivers. <laughs> 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 not just robots. <laughs> oh, football news. Oh yeah, football. Oh, yeah, songs already Songs's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh great we should oh, save man. this for hockey yeah we really should it, it's a shame that he doesn't know what he's talking about it's true <laughs> yes so ik and M- K- oh yeah <laughs> ick yeah what is his name it ick? is ik is it ik it's ik ik right well is it but those are initials right yeah it's probably short for whatever <clears throat> his real african name is but he goes by ik well you gotta be racist it's, oh, it's, it's really what Uh-oh. happens uh, Dave Damashek, who I listen to. Up, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Hulk. <laughs> that trigger? He's OG N word. He's OG N word. Oh, jeez. Mm, probably trigger, actually. Uh, what about Shecky? Uh, Damashek, I listen to him passionately, of course, every week. Uh, What's up, nigga? He has, Does a, that mean you he has a producer who's from Kenya. Racist. And his name's TD. Does he run in But it's Touchdown. His real name's Tunde. It's not so. touchdown. Tongue day. Tun- no tun. <laughs> tun- <day>. Oh, <laughs> no, no G in there. Tun- That's day. my favorite day. Yeah. <laughs> I love a good tongue day. That's Wednesday at my That's house. Hey, it's <laughs> tongue day. It's <laughs> when Mike gives you a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh dear. Like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I can't. We didn't have, have him see what he did yet. <laughs> 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 he was released. From the Jets. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> for being black. <laughs> oh, oh, come wow. on. That, that, damn it, old. You, that's <laughs> racist. What's up, nigga? Oh, oh, come oh, on. It's getting worse. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Manny in the chat, Mixler.com slash Cherry Track, says uh, it's Akimafuna. That's what I thought. Oh, I, thank I, you. I figured he shortened I know him. God. But he goes by IK. Yeah. 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 Mike says, I came for you, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Was released after sucker, sucker punching. Suck- G- sucking <laughs> and punching. <laughs> This must be blocked too. That's Thursday, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was donkey punching. <laughs> you have to come over to find out. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, my God. A lot of AA references today. Yeah. Yes. Awkward apocalypse, everybody. Uh, G- after sucker punching Geno Smith over a grand total of uh, well six hundred dollars, what an idiot! So <laughs> Isn't uh, that crazy. Yeah, I guess they had a little scuffle on the field, and then afterwards in the locker room, it got much worse. Apparently, he bought Geno Smith <laughs> a first class ticket to come down to like his charity bullshit thing. And Gino, right before that happened, had a death in the family. A motorcycle accident or something like that. Something like that. It didn't really matter. It's we don't Gino care. Smith. Someone yeah. died. Yeah, someone died. Somebody died. And uh, he could not attend because of that. And he was mad and demanded that he re- refunded his money. And he was going to, but he just hadn't yet. And so, mm-hmm. yeah. Balled up. <coughs> Isn't that crazy, though? I mean, Wham! They, they, they make, like, you know, at least hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. They you know make at I mean? least that much a day. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you would think like it's like, you know, me not paying up for the league mm-hmm. before I leave today. And you guys beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that what's gonna have to happen? <laughs> yeah. No. So don't remind me. I got the money. <laughs> don't, don't punch me in the face and break my jaw. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even even if Geno Smith was never gonna pay you that money back, mm-hmm. who cares? You're right. Making, you're making yeah, enough. He's, he's yeah, hurting, he, man. He's he, hurting. Apparently, he didn't just ditch the whole thing. There was a reason why he wasn't there. Right. There was so. a, Pretty decent reason, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, but still, he owed the guy the yeah. money. Come on, yeah. but you know the yeah. other thing. The other thing that crossed my mind was gay these guys, porn? Ob- huh? Gay porn. Well, besides <laughs> that, <laughs> these guys are ar- obviously arguing over the you know the six hundred dollars. Could you imagine if is Tom Brady or Peyton Manning if they were arguing with another player? Wow. I have a feeling that you know your lineman or somebody would be over there saying, "Hey, you know, you need to back off our quarterback." 
But that nobody is, protected Gino. That they just is true. Him. That's there, true. There would be people in, in someone's face yeah. over that. Yeah, he, they but just like left him on his own. Apparently, it happened so fast that yeah. nobody really could have stepped in. Uh, it's kind of like he walked up and I just mean, punched yeah, him. Uh, if this was San Diego, Manti Teo and his girlfriend <laughs> 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 would be protecting Philip. Right. Rivers. Yeah, I heard uh, Gino Smith uh, swung back, but he like fell a couple of yards short. <laughs> 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 oh, but <ba-dum. laughs> I heard he hit, actually hit somebody from the other team. <laughs> <laughs> Square in the chest. Damn. Oh, too good. God damn it, you know. Yeah. I so meant bad. to do that. Yeah. yeah. Almost as good as butt fumble. I wonder if like there's any video on that punch. I'd like I to wish. see that. Yeah. Good. I wonder see. if he flew like red from Friday. Well, see, they were they couldn't protect their quarterback because they were too busy vining that shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, get your cameras out. Hurry up. Get yeah. your phones. Well, it's like the Panthers a couple weeks ago. There's like 48 angles of Cam yeah. Newton getting in a fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing of Gino. Though. Yeah. yeah. Gino flying through the air. Smokey <laughs> coming over like you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> we we got a fantasy name update. Yeah, apparently one point twenty one JJ Watts is now winning. So oh, thank wow. you to, uh, right. the Good voters. Job. For Good that job, one. Andy. Keep keep voting. Keep that one alive. <laughs> um <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Sorry. So he was released over there. You know, when I first read the story, I thought it said six thousand because who would ever punch it's someone 600? over six hundred dollars? <laughs> I would. <laughs> well, I mean, we would. <laughs> who, who in the NFL? We're common folk. Uh, yeah, that's true. Right. That's true. I was during the break. I was talking about my beer. If you touch my seventeen dollars <laughs> beer, <laughs> yeah. none of you are walking out of here. That's right. Uh, but yeah, six hundred dollars. So uh, broken jaw over that. Now the Bills the next day claimed IK. Off the waivers. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. And you know if they didn't, that the Patriots were going to. You know what's yeah. awesome, That'd be great the Patriots. Yeah. yeah, but it was Rex Ryan mm-hmm. that picked him yeah. up. Yeah, of course. He's he like, knows what he can you. do. Like, I've worked with this guy. He said, yo, you hate Geno Smith as much as I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new, Sign him up. New club over there. And guess right. what? Week 10 is when Geno's scheduled to come back. Oh. Guess who they're playing oh. week 10. Oh, oh. snaps. Must be the 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 49ers. <laughs> I like yeah. you said yeah to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You listen less than I do. <laughs> um, and what else? So Gino over the weekend has his wire, his jaw wired shut, of course. <laughs> through the <And> wire. <laughs> it's like Kanye West. Right through now. the wire, yeah. <laughs> and of course he gets caught uh, by news people. Uh-oh. Photographers. Caught playing catch. Oops. With his shirt off out in his front yard. <laughs> Ooh, with his shirt off. But, yeah. but he had the black under the eyes. Right. Yeah. Uh-oh. That made it okay. Oh, he was yeah. wearing the shades they, like red, though. Gotta block the sun. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm doing all right. Takes the shades off. It was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> they asked him about it. He said, no, I'm good. I'm feeling great. He's yeah. throwing the ball around. Jets did not like this. No. Uh-oh. They told him yeah. not to leave yeah, his I fucking house, yeah. <laughs> essentially. Well, the See. ball could hit him in the face and set him back. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they're sad about that. Send him back. Yeah. They I'm should be applauding him. Yeah. yeah, keep doing it. But now uh, they wish they still had Tebow on his backup. Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking maybe the team took a collection and paid the guy the six hundred dollars just to punch him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least. Don't worry, we yeah. got it on good authority that the Bills will pick you right up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that impression started to go a little Triple H in the beginning. Uh oh, <laughs> authority. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Punching him in the face is best for business. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of best for business, Chargers have extended Philip Rivers' contract four years, eighty three point two five million. Wow! With a no trade clause, that is that's best interesting. For that's interesting because there was a lot of talk after last season and like the season before. They were saying like maybe they wouldn't happen Ooh. there, or well, and they weren't was, even supposed to talk until after the season right. either. Right. And Phil was talking about not wanting to uh, come to L.A. and how he would never move to L.A. with the Chargers, and all of a sudden, right. hey, let's up that price. Hey, I'll resign. Let's up yeah. it up. Then again, who would want to leave San Diego? It's where happy Nobody happens. wants That's right. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Nice nice weather. <laughs> he dresses like such a hick there, too. He, I, you yeah. know he sticks well, he out like a, a sore thumb. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Him and his, like, 84 children. And all <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is he, like, Mormon or something? Yeah. Yeah. The chicks are so hot there, and he's wearing, like, jeans and, like, plaid shirt, like, buttoned, I mean, Polo tucked ties. into his jeans and, like... Sure are pretty. Yeah. yeah. I think one of his kids, his name was Stockus, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's Dwayne Champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I was surprised they gave him the no trade clause because Chargers love right. to trade you as you're starting to just barely get old. And the, and the, the talk is him always leaving is the thing. Yeah. Like they always talk about getting rid of him. And if like, he was smart, he'd leave. Philip yeah. Rivers yeah. is Catholic. I looked it up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, same thing, different uh, fake god. Yeah, 
Uh oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Or fake saints. This is not that uh, kind of oh, show. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Not that. We only say that stuff on Sundays. Come on. Arian Foster. Oh, Any given you. Sunday. <coughs> Arian Foster. Arian Foster's made it possible for all this. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. oh, so we're all going to step out and be atheists. Yeah, so. we're all going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Now that he's cleared the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe it's God's will to be an atheist. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> Air. Less. Air. Less. After next year, when they didn't even make the playoffs or something, and this is where the champs of AFC. Yeah. You know what we're talking about? Yeah. <clears throat> probably still be the champs. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably will. Bunch of cheaters. Yeah. <laughs> another way. Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady, not Brady. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Brady. Had a few beers. <laughs> uh oh. Oh wow. I think my favorite conversation tonight was before the show. <laughs> right. My girlfriend, who's never here on Monday nights, was actually here. Yes. She's like, oh, why aren't you guys drinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Ha- I couldn't answer that. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. Why aren't we? The show hasn't started yet. She doesn't realize we're performance drinkers. That's what right. It's, right. It's an art. <laughs> yeah. You get paid for this. Uh, Tom Brady's appealing the whole Deflate Gate suspension. Suspension. So stupid. Remix. Stupid that he's the whole thing. Everything. The whole thing's a mess. The overblown. I mean. Mark McGuire steroids. If there's anyone that knows about overblown, it's me. It's the name of my next movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> overblown the story of Michael <laughs> <laughs> like Barry Michael. Bonds trial wasn't this overblown right here well the NFL fucked up I mean they're the ones that are like putting out the email now that you know he was talking about Peyton Manning so it was like when, it's like why yeah well people why were saying say like when Tom Brady smashed his phone everyone's like why would you do that unless you're guilty and now he can say because I thought you guys were going to spread like private stuff yeah right and they said well we would never do that now they totally like leaked everything yeah apparently Roger Goodell hired Korea to hack into his <laughs> email <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously so it's like now everything that Tom Brady's done is like validated because they fucked up oh, and sold. Oh, you hear what he said about Peyton Manning? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> it's all validated now. I'm so lonely. <laughs> so he, did, he really didn't say anything bad about Peyton Manning. He just he was, said he's only got a couple years left. He was the him. other guy that said mean shit about Peyton. And then right. Tom Brady apologized to Peyton. Yeah. Right, right, Peyton was right. like, it's, it's like no it big deal. Matter, right? But it's still, it's still private. It's still private. You know yeah. what I mean? Why so does like, that need to be leaked? Yeah. So he's totally legitimized now into like smashing his phone because he knew the NFL would spread all of yeah. like his like dick pics like to Giselle <laughs> and like yeah. Giselle's like titty <laughs> pictures back to him. <laughs> dick and, like, pics to Jen Sturger. Oh my God. Oh, that was Brett Favre. <laughs> Giselle's before and after pictures of her Pic- pl- plastic yeah. surgery. Yeah. Gis- Giselle's Giselle. Mm-hmm. Dick yeah. pics to Aaron Hernandez to help yeah. him out there while he's in jail. Dick pics of <laughs> Dwayne Champion. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a big dick. He's a champion. He's a champion. <laughs> he is a champion. Yeah, you know, the more the NFL gets into this, the more I side on the on the yeah of Brady. Me too. I I hate to say it because I wanted to see him go down because right. like hate him and the Patriots. He's, a, he's yeah. a damn cheater. He really is, and he got caught red-handed. But the NFL just doesn't know how to handle it. Yeah, yeah. They're, he's they're a cheater a on a yeah. cheating they are, team. They fucked it up, yeah. and like I'm totally on Brady's side at this point. Like they just dropped the ball. Yeah, he'd been better off beating Giselle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Punishment would have been a lot less. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> He'd beat her ass right now. <laughs> He'd have been over with by now. Yeah. And if he was allowed, like, if he was allowed to destroy his phone, what the fuck is the problem with it? You said it wasn't a problem. Well, that's the thing. And that Ted Wells even said, I did not inform Tom Brady that he would be punished if he did not provide his phone. Right. It's like entrapment. They're like, no, it's cool. Do whatever you want. Oh, he broke his fucking phone, guys. Yeah. That was, that was an all right movie. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine <Entrapment>. Zeta Jones. <laughs> She Trapped dips it. beneath the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every, everyone listening is like, what the fuck are they talking <laughs> yeah. about? Watch Workaholics. I think it's like season three. They talk about that movie? Yeah, they do a song about oh, it. Oh, do they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no shit. Yeah, we got to play it. Oh, now we do, yeah. <laughs> What's, what, what, what would I search? <laughs> While you're Workaholics, searching, Catherine Zeta Jones. The funniest story I heard about Workaholics is uh, they. I don't know if they actually were able to do it on air, but they wanted to get Baron Davis to be on an episode and he oh. and the, the whole premise was they had a bear skin or a bear, yeah bear skin jacket so when they put the bear on themselves they could say 
look, I'm Bear on Davis. Oh like, that was God. the whole premise for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fucking hilarious. This show was like, awesome. They tried to force <laughs> Bear and Davis to come on just so they could p- pull out this joke. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is it. Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> she deeps beneath the lasers. Oh, <laughs> she <laughs> hasn't <laughs> trapped me. <laughs> And Sean Curry. Whoa. <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones. She dips in the lasers. Whoa. 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 Anything else for move <laughs> so, Yeah, Tom Brady. Yeah, Tom Brady. About, yeah, well, actually, when, and Peyton Manning made a statement, I forgive Tom Brady now. <laughs> oh, chicken parmy tastes so good. <laughs> have some Tom. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> what? I was going to say have some Papa John's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> have Nothing some Tom beats pizza. that new car smell. Yeah. Nothing beats that bitch Giselle. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, <that was> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, she's a bitch. <clears throat> T.Y. Hilton and the Colts have agreed to a new five-year extension worth $65 million. So is he African, too, because he's got initials? <laughs> <as well>? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got dots oh, in between. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. Oh, I'm confused wow. here. Tonka Thank Yanka you. or something like that. He's from yeah. Kenya. Thank yeah. you very much. I was confused there for a second. Well, you guys run fast. Yes. Uh, the Browns, they're looking at possibly signing Ray Rice. They've All got right. so many running backs. Right? It's ridiculous. They do. It's f- and they have so many train wrecks. I mean, <laughs> I think that coach would. is losing it. He's like, well, I, I guess we could sign him. Yeah, we've got Johnny Football. How much worse can it get? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know he's not going to make a comeback. I mean, running backs are like a dime a dozen. Mm. I mean, why would they ever need Ray Rice and bring right. that fucking problem with on their team? Maybe one of the cheerleaders got out of line. There you Uh go. Keep them wives in line. That's That's right. right. Ray Rice coming in. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I guess if a team's going to do it, it's going to be a division rival. He's going to play the other team twice. At least he'll have two good games. Because you know a player always plays well against his former team. It's true, but I think he's like washed up. I think he's coming in as a marriage counselor. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be good. You should have a new show like called The Marriage Council. <laughs> God damn. He did suck the year before this happened. So yes. Maybe maybe their set for the show could be in <laughs> an, ele- <laughs> in an <laughs> elevator. In an in a <laughs> elevator. <laughs> uh, too soon? All right. Bears rookie wide receiver Kevin White having shin surgery. Oh, He'll be starting this early in the public. Shit. Yeah. Apparently he lied about that shin injury, yeah. too. Yeah. Did, I don't have a... F- uh, stress fracture. There goes my fantasy draft. Yeah, <laughs> I've been pegged around seven or eight. I actually like <laughs> wasn't drafting him at all because is that right? Yeah, because I'm like I don't can't trust this guy, and then this happened. I'm like I knew it. There you Whoa. go. I had a feeling. No. My feeling was like Brandon Marshall leaves, so somebody's got to pick that shit up. Yeah, Alshon Jeffrey is <laughs> gonna have a, an amazing season. Well, yeah, and no, Marshall is Bennett. So yeah. if you're gonna get a tight end, that's that's true. He's, get, he's a great like number six option at tight end. That's true. Is that it. There okay. you go, guys. <laughs> Fantasy football. Fantasy advice. news, everybody. That's right. Brian, Take it home. I don't want to say too much because I'm. I don't want to give him maybe my strategy that I've been doing my mock drafts. With. Give, give who your strategy? <laughs> you guys are gonna be drafting with. Do me, me a favor, actually. Give me your strategy. So I can do the exact fucking opposite. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm just gonna trade them all the way in. <laughs> yeah, to your fake cousin Cody. <laughs> yeah. well, he's not playing this year. Oh, he's uh, not. I'll ask Eva. She could be my cousin Cody. Say, you have, oh you have no God. chance. You have no fake player. No <laughs> fake team to trade. That guy didn't even have a name. I was like, what yeah. the hell? This team Cody. <laughs> yeah, Cody. Dot every. Yeah, it was like I wasn't gonna give the last name. Fuck. Uh, we're gonna give the last <laughs> name away. <laughs> it's all over my fucking shit. It was a, it was a freaking, if your you're in the name? chat, you know my last name. Oh, your your, your oh, team okay. name is a freaking email. You're not a real <laughs> player. Yeah. That was garbage. <laughs> yeah, Mike had to change his name because he knows I suck <laughs> dick at Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, I knew they'd take it down. Yeah. Yeah. Pornhub.com. Yeah, I might change it to Mastukas though. Yeah, slap it a cock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Champion at Dwayne. Uh, the Anyways, uh, best news of the day, everybody. This one's for Tebo. Yeah, let's go. All he do is win, 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 no matter, no matter what. what. Got Jesus on his mind, he could never get enough. No. And every time he step up in the building, everybody rush out, go up. And they stay there. And they stay there. Yeah, 
Yeah, <laughs> Tebow in the oh house. Oh my god. Tebow got some play time. Hold yes. on. Yes. Should we uh, do a little prayer to our God Tebow? Gods of Sky, join us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was an atheist until Tebow. Yeah, don't on. join in, Arian Foster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay away, Arian. He's bastard. excluded from this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty Tebow. Oh, that'd be awesome if like him and Tebow were on the same team. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh, oh, I mean, shit. oh, Tebow. Talk about oh. conflict. <laughs> that'd get real <laughs> awkward real soon. Yeah. 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 What a huddle. <laughs> All right. So Arian would be like, have you ever had your dick wet? <laughs> I win. <laughs> I win life. She was like, got on three. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Who? Yeah. So Tebow played in the Eagles game the other night. Uh, they won. And he ran in a seven-yard touchdown. He sure did. He did good. He did. You know what? Johnny Manziel ran in a touchdown, too. Uh-oh. Good to know that quarterbacks are running in touchdowns. Yeah. Uh-oh. But Tebow's is real. Tebow, this should be his job, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah Tebow's was powered by God. Yes. yes. Tebow is God. If Cleveland right. needs a running back, Tim Tebow's out there. I think if anybody needs a running back. I'll take them <laughs> yeah. on the Niners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, we need got, some help. We got Carlos Hyde and Reggie Bush. Oh, God. Oh, We're going to tear up the league. Why don't you so guys fun. sign Ray Rice? Ray Rice. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing Carlos Hyde is probably impressing them at uh, right, 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 right. They're yeah, afraid Ray Rice will go slash some gay guy around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't probably. Be, wouldn't be cute. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking you keep Tim Tebow on the team. I mean, he's he's fighting for a job with Barkley. You keep him on the keep him on keep him on the team I would because say, yeah. two point conversion specialist. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck it. Especially this point. with the thirty yard uh, he, po- extra point now. He's their yeah. best quarterback. I mean, he's the league's he best is. quarterback. Oh well, my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least on this team, right he commanded now. it. I mean, he's like, yeah, he's battling with Barkley. Is that really a battle? I mean, come on. Well, that's Barkley. that's for third string. Charles Barkley. That's no. for third string. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, uh, it'll be second string soon enough because right. obviously well, Sam Bradford is going to be gonna done in another two yeah. weeks. Yeah. And Mark even, Sanchez is Mark Sanchez. Something's going to happen. He'll butt right. fumble it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bradford only has one good game in him. <laughs> Tebow yeah. knew that as a third string quarterback that he may start for the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm-hmm. And then whoever doesn't make it, the, the Cowboys should pick up. Tony Romo's going to hurt his back at some point. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> I would take Tebow over Blaine Gabbard as my backup. Oh, God. Ooh. Just what's, saying. What's funny is Maurice Jones-Drew was on the Damashek show. He said Blaine Gabbard's the most talented quarterback he's ever played with. And Poor guy. I'm yeah. like, well, you've just played with no quarterbacks, have yeah. you? Yeah. Look where MJD retired. <laughs> yeah, in Oakland. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised he didn't say Carr was the best quarterback. He That's said right. by the end of the year, Carr was, like, amazing. Yeah. He said he was reading every defense. You wait on that guy, man. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Him and Amari Cooper. Yeah. Even though in the preseason game, Amari ran the wrong route and he threw an interception because of it. So. Uh-oh. But a, Uh-oh. Cooper's like a master of routes is what they say. Right. So maybe it's just a weird miscommunication. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Yeah, Carr and uh, Gabbard. Maybe it's the Oakland curse. <laughs> <Car. laughs> Oakland's like fucking Cooper. He's like, I can't do it here. <laughs> and Carr believes in God like Tebow. Yeah, that's oh, true. Wow. Really crazy. I was like, what the hell? He plays for us? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> in Oakland, really? Yeah, exactly. If he believed in God, he wouldn't be in Oakland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. God ignored that place. Oh, man. Where's God? <laughs> my, my, my girlfriend, who's from NorCal, the other day was trying to tell me how nice Oakland's become <laughs> oh <my laughs> as a city, not the Raiders. Yeah, but the portion right. closest to San Francisco is very nice. Right. She was telling me that there's like you know the quote unquote Beverly Hills of Oakland. Mm-hmm. I was like, how about we just go to Beverly Hills of Beverly Hills? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's let's avoid Oakland. That's disgusting. Jesus. As soon as you cross the bridge to the you know the Bay Bridge, it's pretty nice. As soon as you hit anywhere near. San Francisco? City. It's pretty bad. Yeah, as soon as you get into the city, it's, it's, it's just right. fine. Yeah. Or if you go past Oakland to where the outskirts are, where the rich people live, yeah. that's fine, too. Anywhere yeah. other than Oakland, you're we'll fine. Say yeah, draw a circle around Oakland. Oakland. <laughs> Everything around that's great. <laughs> <laughs> just stand outside that circle. Anywhere yeah. below halfway through the bridge yeah. is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't live there. Fuck you, Oakland. Most, <laughs> most depressing bridge ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're a Raider fan. Where I am, but yeah. fuck Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> Come down to Los Angeles. because they were in I'll LA. Yeah, that's right. Mm, we'll nope. take your damn team away, goddammit. <laughs> you can have them, Oakland. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the Rams were an Anaheim team masquerading as an LA team. So the he couldn't Ram- like the Rams. Oh, hey. Anaheim Rams from Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. They were here, man. Yeah. They were in Oxnard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that was part of the yeah. rundown or not. It's I not. Mean, because uh, nobody cares. Oh, well, how dare oh, you. Oh, oh. The Rams we were, were trying to keep that a secret. Yeah, well, hey, they were here, man, with yeah. the Cowboys. They're, They're like, like, shh, don't tell, don't tell anybody. anybody. Hey. Yeah, this is this is embarrassing. Hey, 
that are like, we just want to win a scrimmage. Oxnard, beautiful, man. <laughs> beautiful, man. I'm telling you. It's beautiful. I don't see them playing here. I don't see them playing here. The strawberry fields are very nice. Strawberry bushes? It's beautiful. I said bush. I'm like, what are they talking about? You got to go way in the Strawberry bushes forever. You got to go way down there to Oxnard to see the strawberry bushes. I'm telling you. Like right off the freeway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aerial view. Camarillo's got that shit too, man. I love yeah. aerial views. Apparently, like, it's one of the biggest farmlands in, in the country is Left. Camarillo yeah. and yeah. Oxnards. That's right. Camarillo, not so much anymore. I know. Taking yeah. it over. The nice thing about Camarillo not having all the farms doesn't smell like shit anymore. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Anyways, uh, Kaepernick, that's what we're talking oh, about. Oh, football. Cap and uh, right before Alan Smith got fired were rumored to be fighting with each other. Uh-oh. To the point where apparently Alan Smith beat up Cap's Mercedes. Mercedes. Uh-oh. But I love what, Mer- what Kaepernick came back with. Uh, this is so good. Cap says, well, if I, and this is a press conference, well, if I was a reporter, I'd go about things differently. I would realize that I have a deal with Jaguar. I've had it for a few years now, so I wouldn't be driving a Mercedes. All right. I'd also realize that we didn't have practice on Thursday, so no, no one was at the facility. <laughs> Isn't Mercedes his wife's name? <laughs> Is he dumb enough to be married? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I think it's his maid's name. Well, he's on the 49ers. <laughs> well, yeah. Ooh, yeah, good point. I think Bill's his wife's name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mastukas. <laughs> Mastukas. <laughs> oh, my. There's a name. Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne Champion. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only championship Cap's ever going to get. Uh, honestly, Dwayne at this champion. point, the end of the show is just going to be me saying lymphoma, Mastukas, Dwayne Champion. That's All right. Gonna be Spoiler it. alert. Yeah, yeah, there spoiler. You go. It's yeah. happening, guys. Turn yeah. it off now. Yeah. He says, uh, so along those lines, I feel like anyone that believes that uh, and goes about reporting it is just, wow, what? So along those lines, refresh, I feel like anyone that believes that and goes about reporting it is, yeah, I didn't, I didn't misread. He just can't talk. <laughs> just doesn't have the best integrity in my mind. I mean, to try to prey on athletes' livelihoods while one is going through a tough time is embarrassing to me. For people to report that and put that out there. Uh, jumped on the bandwagon just to go get internet clicks. I think they capitalized internet and get yeah. attention to their website or reports. It really is embarrassing for people to do that. But he never did say that they did or did not have a fight. Right. Wow. Mm. He skirted around whether they fought. Mm-hmm. That or he just forgot to say no, we didn't fight. He just likes wearing a skirt. I love how they insinuate. <laughs> They're like, he didn't say no. He didn't. Like, what he, he didn't, didn't say yes. He just didn't say it didn't happen on this day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the, the four ers are so fucked. Yeah, <laughs> you got true. Raider fans looking down it's at true. you guys right now. Phil How Dawson. sad is that? Phil That's Dawson looked bad. good in the preseason though. Pre- yeah. <laughs> he's in he's in regular season form already. MVP form. Hey, that's true. Then again, they played the Texans, so they're a decent looking team. You know, well, Phil Dawson's the man, though. It's true. I'll put that out there. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny is we were actually talking about uh, dog names and like, oh, name your dog after like your favorite player on your team. I was like Dawson. <laughs> Dawson. I'm gonna name my dog Dawson. Wow. Here, Dawson. That's a good dog name. It is a good yeah. dog name. Yeah. It's also the MVP of uh, Fort Niners. And That's right. it's a producer for the Adam Carolla show. That is true. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling that Dawson will be uh, very easily the highest scorer of this upcoming ski- season. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Him or Adam Vinatieri. As, as Vinatieri on the Colts <laughs> may blow records away. No, no, for That's the 49ers. True. Oh, for, yes, yes, definitely for the 49ers. As oh, long yeah. as Kaepernick can get it close enough. <laughs> you know, unless Kaepernick <laughs> Which allows himself to yards. run enough <laughs> yards to, to get touchdowns. You know? he, he can run it close enough so Dawson can chip in some. Some like little thirty yarders. Yeah, that's right. Some oh extra points. God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get my Dawson jersey out. Yeah, dust it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the only football jersey I've ever purchased. Well, the same pass. Is that right? As an adult, yes. Oh wow. The, well, the same pass that worked last year, uh, Kaepernick to Bolden, is the only pass that worked in the preseason last this past week. So mm. his one of three was to Anquan Bolden for fourteen yards. So. Well, if he just gets the ball to Frank Gore. Uh, oh. oh. Snaps. Yeah, that defense looking good still. You got mm-hmm. Patrick Witt. Oh. Uh, Chris Bort. Uh, no, that's shit. okay. Harbaugh will... Oh. Uh, Alden, uh, Alden God Smith. Damn it. Mm. Uh, Jaguars. At least you can get him to Crabtree. Oh, oh no. Uh, that's right. We got Crabtree. Uh, <laughs> Justin Smith still... Oh, no. no. San Francisco, di- Who is San Francisco didn't smell bad enough, so he had to cross the bay with <laughs> Oakland. <laughs> he went inside that circle we told him not to go inside of. <laughs> oh, man. So not he, smart. He, yeah, he went past all the stench and everything because he's like, you know what? That's a better team over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's like, it's uh, worth it. <laughs> sad but true. Sad but true. Oh, man. Oh, speaking of San Francisco, let's get it's going. Raining, man. <laughs> let's get it's raining, man. Yes. To Daniel's delight, this one is about Michael Sam. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> the, the song. It's the second time you played the song. At least it was, it was a bit Sam. of a tweet. Uh, tweez. A tease <laughs> earlier. <laughs> a little tweezer. <laughs> Had a few beers. <laughs> okay. Just saying. Uh, Michael Sam tweets. Is he tweets? Oh, he tweeted. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I got yeah, you. Yeah, that's where I got mixed up. <laughs> tweets that uh, about his departure from football, citing mental health. What? Yeah. Yes, he has left the Montreal Alouettes. If you can't make it on the Alouettes, <laughs> you're no. done. No, not even that. Yeah, mental French, health. If French isn't gay enough for him. He's just yeah, that's he's not going to be a football. Player. Bonjour to my balls. <laughs> <laughs> he tweets: The last twelve months have been very difficult for me to the point where I became concerned with my mental health. Because this, I am going to step away from the game at this time. I thank the Alouettes for this opportunity and hope to be back on the field soon. Thank you for all your understanding oh, and support. Man. Uh, yeah. He Yellow. will be missed. <laughs> yeah. It was that time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Heavy flow. No, <laughs> this what? is bad for the gay community, though. It the is. The Christians are going to come out and say that it's a mental illness. You know they are. Uh -oh. like, Michael Sam's proof that gayness is a mental illness. Look, at, he can't even play football is anymore. Trump? <laughs> he he's raping everybody. He can't play it's football. It's a mental illness. You're fired. I'm president. Vote for me. I would. It's going to be huge. Please don't. What's it matter? <laughs> What's it matter? I think Trump's like the one person that would matter if you voted. He's the one Republican I would vote for. Just saying. Oh, God. L luckily, the president really doesn't do a whole lot. I think lot. you're crazy. So call me, maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you're fired. Welcome to the political hour. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no Sports! Sure. Brought to you by the uh, four people who should never talk about politics. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Cordell Brodus, a.k.a. Mini Snoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Quits football. What? Yeah, he was uh, drafted, if you will, by UCLA. Yeah. Right. Highly touted. Right. Highly, highly what? Touted. Talbot? Touted. Talbot? Taliban? Oh. Oh, 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 wow. Yeah. Highly Taliban. ISIS player Cordell Brodus, <laughs> who was highly Taliban by UCLA. <laughs> has quit football. Wait, 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 why'd he quit, though? He wants to focus on his film career. Oh, oh snaps. Okay. Oh. He got Beheadings into, on tape? He, huh? Beheadings oh, on tape? Oh, how dare you. He got into Snoop's drawer. Yeah. <laughs> he found that weed. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't chronic, don't blaze it up. That's that right. Snoop's kid? Yeah, Snoop's okay. kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the hell that guy is. Hey. Isn't that Cordell Snoop? <laughs> How would I know? He should be. Cornell yeah. Dog. Cornell Dog. Snoop brought his. Because <laughs> yeah. Greg said Snoop son. I, I, I said mini Snoop. <laughs> mini Snoop. That's true. It could yeah. be Cordell Lion. Yeah. I watched Straight Outta Compton yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? It's good. It looks good. It's was, good. Was there a crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube? <laughs> <laughs> From the gang called... I wasn't ready. Uh oh. Yeah. With attitude. <laughs> Nigga. Yeah, thank you. Quiet the with attitude. Time. Yeah. <laughs> oh God oh, damn it! Man. That would have been so good had it been ready. Let's <laughs> hold on. Let's try this again. Take two. Was there a crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube? Yeah, he was from the gang called Nigga with attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just pretend the other part never happened. <laughs> oh man. What's up, nigga? Oh, oh come on, Hulk. Not even appropriate at this time. Damn it, Hulk. This show has gone on way too long. We must be drunk. And finally, National Labor Relations Board have said that Northwestern play players cannot unionize. It's funny because they talk about the um, the ones that have a scholarship not being able to unionize. But what about the players that are there paying to play for that team? Why can't they make? They're not money? very good. <laughs> I understand if you're if you're getting a, a full free ride to Northwestern, that's your payment. But what about the kids that? Aren't Midlife gives you free rides on Uber. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah just buy them some fries. Yeah, <laughs> you know, charge your blowjob in yep. and out, preferably. Yeah, yeah. Michael pay that. That's <laughs> a double entendre. Yeah. <laughs> but I understand the scholarships. But what about the kids that are you know kicking ass and paying a full tuition there? Why can't they unionize? Well, say, ironically, the people that are getting free school are probably the ones that need the unionizing the money because yeah, because <laughs> <you know. laughs> they need a free scholarship for a reason. Uh, right. Yeah. 
Not because they're rich. Because the poor ghetto kids are the best players. Yeah, that's help racist. them out, LeBron. Come on, that's racist. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> What's up, nigga? <laughs> Hulk. Hulk. Hulk, Please. I didn't say any race. Damn it. I'm not a racist. Doesn't sound like How it. How dare you? Yeah. This is getting rough. Uh, I think that college players. Uh, so she said. <laughs> <laughs> should throw up. Uh, <laughs> should receive some sort of compensation other than their free schooling. Correct. Yes. yes. Even if it's a minimum amount. Yeah, it's not man. too much, but enough to pay for food. Yeah. Some food, ramen. Yeah. yeah. About Crab to legs. A full meal. Yeah, there you go. Hey. A full yeah. meal of some sort. Yeah. Or just steal them. Just go to the store and just <laughs> walk out with them. Might as well. That is awful. Yeah, you won't get cut. Oh, oops. Shit. He's a pro now. Yeah. They need to be able to afford some plan B. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, snaps. <laughs> well, you know, mistakes happen. It's true. No, it's true. <laughs> yeah, fuck the rhythm method doesn't work every time. <laughs> you imagine that? It's yeah. like, yeah, I can't afford it. We're screwed. <laughs> Shit. Or at least I'm screwed because I'm going to be a millionaire and you're carrying my baby. <laughs> And I'm going to lose all my money. That's right. Oh, God. At least half. <laughs> it depends where they come from. California, it's like all. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. We've gone political again. Mm-hmm. Here, Here we, we go. go. We should probably stop that immediately. It's all about the money, money, money. Mike's really, really gay. gay, gay, gay. <laughs> that's Don't old. talk about that's his an old joke. Friends. That's an old joke. It is? Yeah. What? You being gay? Mm-hmm. It's not mm. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Who's joking? <laughs> New or old? <laughs> it's not a joke. Breaking right. news. This is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been a while since you put that music. Oh, in case you didn't know, Mike was good. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, people are so sorry that we're still talking. You can find us at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike, at the charity strike on the old twat box. 805-419-3679 is number to call sex and uh, maybe send us a text while you're at it. <laughs> We're on Instagram, the Charity Shrek. Uh, Mike likes to put up titty pictures. Of course, he covers his nipple because Instagram doesn't allow it. Yeah, food. they don't <laughs> allow it. Yeah, he puts a little stars over them, so don't worry. Uh, you can find uh, all of us on the t- on the Twatter at TCS Rebound, TCS Trigger Mike at TCS Midlife. Uh, Daniel not on social media. <laughs> 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 don't even check out the I Want to Know podcast. It's uh, it's not like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's very different, and and thank you. So on that note, good night, everybody. Later, bitches. Mastukas, Michael, Sam, Lymphoma, Dwayne Champion. Let's get gay. <laughs> <laughs>